Whoa. <laughs> Stop making me tear up, movie. Everybody's upset. That deserves a round of applause. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake, and today I'm watching Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets for the very first time. Guys, before I get started though, I'm gonna talk for a couple seconds about a few things, so if you're just here for the reaction, feel free to skip ahead, no big deal. Guys, I gotta start here. That first movie was incredible. It blew my expectations out of the water by a large margin. After letting it marinate and, and after processing everything that happened and what I saw and editing it, man, that was too good. For, for a kid's movie, that was too good. I mean, they had no business being that good. Thank you guys so much for voting for this. I mean, I'm so excited to continue this journey. I wanna watch them all tonight, to be honest with you, but I can't, I can't say enough good things about the first one. Um, going into this one, I am now very excited. Uh, my expectations are extremely high. A few of you did say that the second one wasn't your favorite one. That's okay. But you guys did mention that they get better and better as it goes on and a little bit more mature, a little bit darker. So I'm really excited about that too. I mean, the first one did tap into some more of the darker, more adult themes, but overall it was a very heartwarming, wholesome movie. I mean, there was times where I teared up. There was times where my heart just felt so like so full from Harry upgrading his life and you know and he seems so happy and you know the friends that he made and you know the, just the love and support that he had around him from everybody it was incredible and I can't wait to see what this one has in store for me but secondly I have to thank you guys so much the support you guys showed on the first reaction was insane all right uh my best performing video by far I mean I only have six videos but with that being said I can't put into words how it made me feel, the amount of love and support and just, you know, positive vibes from you guys, the community. Uh, it made me feel so good. It made my day, it made my week. Not only that, we smashed my subscriber goal. Uh, going into February, I did have a goal of reaching a thousand subscribers by the end of February. But with only two days left, we smashed that goal. So thank you guys so much for supporting me and subscribing to the channel. So my next goal for the end of March is now going to be 2,500 subscribers. If you guys want to help me reach that goal, all you have to do is subscribe, hit that button, turn on those notifications, and no pressure, you do not have to. I totally understand if you don't want to. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching all the same. And guys, if you could drop a like, comment on the video, let me know something going into this. And guys, if you want to see the full length version of this reaction, head over to my Patreon and the second tier will give you access to that. And because I just started the Patreon this week, there's not a whole ton of you there yet. But I want to give a special shout out to the ones that decided to support me. So thank you to Lola, Nico, Sam, and Red Dwarf. Thank you guys so much. Your support means so much to me. You have no idea what it means to me. So thank you guys. Guys, I am done talking. I am so excited for this. Go grab a snack. Grab a drink. Let me know in the comments what you guys are snacking on while we watch. But with that being said, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do it. Man, why is the intro so epic already? I haven't even started yet. Relax. Man, talk about a cookie cutter neighborhood. Oh, he's got a room now. Oh, what an upgrade. It's on his way up in the world, telling you that right now. I can't let you out, Hedwig. Aww. Poor bird. If I could only let her out. Well, so you can send secret messages to your freaky little friends. I haven't had any messages from any of my friends. Really? That's actually surprising. We've raised you since you were a baby, giving you the food of our table. Like you are doing some amazing act by giving him a room? Come on. Petunia, when the Masons arrive, you will be... In the lounge, waiting to welcome them graciously to our home. Good. Oh yeah, put on your fake act to pretend like you're good people, yeah. And you? They want him to leave, probably. I'll be in my bedroom, making no noise and pretending that I don't exist. You should mess it up on purpose, dude. These people suck, I don't care. <laughs> what is that, a goblin? Such an honor it is. Uh, what are you doing in my room? Dobby, sir. Dobby the house elf. Oh, an elf. You can't have met many decent wizards then. No, I haven't. It's an awful thing to say. What the heck? Bro, uh, no, 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 no. First of all, too loud. Stop. Secondly, you're hurting yourself. Oh, don't mind that. It's just the cat. Stop, stop. Dobby had to punish himself, sir. Oh, man. Dobby almost spoke ill of his family, sir. Dobby is bound to serve one family forever. If they ever knew Dobby was here. Dobby has to protect Harry Potter. To warn him, Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. 
No, we have to. Plot. A plot to make most terrible things happen. Yeah, there was last year too. I belong in your world, a Hogwarts. It's the only place I've got friends. Friends who don't even write to Harry Potter? Dobby hoped if Harry Potter thought his friends had forgotten him, Harry Potter might not want to go back to school. Oh, you sneaky little elf. Those. Now. That's so messed up. <gasps> they wrote to him so many times, they probably thought he didn't even care and write back. Do not. No. <laughs> no. Put your hand under it. Pretend you're serving it or something. And that's just the top of it. Oh, God. Oh, now it looks like he's doing it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm so sorry. It's my nephew. He's very disturbed. <laughs> That's why I kept him upstairs. Uh... Listen, if he's doing this stuff, right? Why would they not want him to leave? If he leaves, he's not going to be doing this stuff anymore. So it's You're like... You're never going back to that school. You're never going to see those freaky friends of yours again. Never! I'm just trying to punish them because they don't like him. Freaky Friends sounds like a band name. Some indie band. Like, if I was the uncle and I hated you, you're gone. Go every year. Stay there forever. I don't care. Is so Hagrid's back to save him? Come on, Hagrid. Oh, wait. It's on a motorcycle, though. Uh... No way! Hiya, Harry. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Fred, George, what are you all doing here? Rescuing you, of course. <laughs> he has good friends, like... That sucks to think that he thought that they weren't uh, writing to him. Oh my god. Come on, come on, Harry. Come on, Harry. Hurry up. Oh god. No, 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 no. You're gonna try to kill him just to keep him there? You and that bloody pigeon aren't going anywhere. Get off! Uh, hey, you shouldn't have grabbed on. Like, what? That's your own fault. I have no empathy for that. And it's not a pigeon, okay? It's a beautiful owl. By the way, Harry, happy birthday. Man, his voice is so much deeper. Oh, yeah, I forgot his birthday is like right before school. Wow, that's a cool house. Matilda shit going on in here. What I would do to have this in real life. How much time you could save? It's not much. But it's home. I think it's brilliant. Where have you been? <laughs> right. They were starving him, Mum. There were bars in his window. Well, you best hope I don't put bars on your window, Ronald Weasley. <laughs> she wouldn't. She's too nice. I can already tell. Hello. She starstruck. Your sons flew that enchanted car of yours to Surrey and back last night. Did you really? How'd it go? Oh, oh, did you ever... <laughs> Classic dad. The spell books alone are very expensive. We'll manage. There's only one place we're going to get all of this. Diagon Alley. Mm hmm. Wizard Mall. Man, this is such an amazing, like, family. And compared to Harry's life, this is so much better. Wish you could live here. Diagon Alley! What the heck? It's quite easy, dear. Don't be afraid. Come on. Just say where you want to go and throw this stuff. Okay. I don't forget to speak very, very clearly. Diagonally. He didn't say it right. Diagonally. What did he say, dear? Diagonally. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, this is not good. Shouldn't be anywhere alone with your status. That scared the shit out of me. Maybe don't put your hand in random, like, skeleton hands. Uh-oh. Goth Central. Not lost, are you, my dear? A little bit. I'm fine, thank you. I mean, no, we totally know where we're at and we want to be here. 
What do you think you're doing down here? Come on. What are the chances? Thank God. We're going to paint his nails black. What did you do to your glasses? <sighs> Oculus Repairo. <laughs> Once again, saving the day. Man, I love that he has people in his life now that care about him. It's so awesome. <gasps> Someone else famous, okay. Harry Potter! Excuse me, madam. He's got like a fast pass at Disneyland, basically. Harry, together you and I rate the front page. Ladies and gentlemen, what an extraordinary moment this is. Uh, dude, no one knows who you are. Lucius Malfoy. Okay, this guy's a villain. We meet at last. I mean, look at him. Forgive me, your scar is legend. As, of course, is the wizard who gave it to you. Voldemort killed my parents. He said Volkswagen out loud. Associating with muggles. Um, you're not intimidating. I, how are Hermione's parents muggles and being in... How are they at Diagon Alley if they're muggles? And how do they have her as a baby? A train will be leaving any moment. Train Someone explain that, because that doesn't make sense to me. Also, Malfoy, or his dad, thought he was uh, Jafar from Aladdin. Okay. That cane. Oh no. What? Maybe we should just go and wait by the car. The car? Yeah, you know the thing that you used to... Something tells me you shouldn't be doing that right there. Most muggles aren't accustomed to seeing a flying car. Right. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking. There we go. Wow. Do you hear that? We must be getting close. Oh my god. Easy. You don't have to do that many barrel rolls. And maybe if you didn't do 10 barrel rolls, he wouldn't have fallen out like that. My hands are sweaty just looking at that. Welcome home. Careful where you're flying that. They gotta have airspace laws over there. Magical ones. See? They have some sort of barrier or something. Oh, oh. It's not working. Uh oh. Soft landing. Okay, you're alive. That's all that matters. Was that troll back? Oh, the tree. Oh no. Oh, that was gonna land like straight down. There's no way that thing still drives after all that. How many close calls are we gonna have before we walk into the front door? <laughs> the car's like, I'm done with you guys. Get me out of here. No! Oh, the car almost committed animal abuse. So a house elf shows up in my bedroom. We can't get through the barrier to platform nine and three quarters. Clearly someone doesn't want me here this year. Yeah, that elf dude. These boys have flouted the decree for the restriction of underage wizardry. I am well aware of our bylaws, having written quite a few of them myself. Oh. We'll go and get our stuff then. What are you talking about, Mr. Weasley? You're going to expel us, aren't you? Not today, Mr. Weasley. Not as bad as it could have been. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> today, we're going to repot mandrakes. Now, as our mandrakes are still only seedlings, their cries won't kill you yet. <laughs> Grasp your mandrake firmly. You pull it sharply up out of the pot. Things disgusting. My god. Just leave him there. Right, <laughs> on we go. Just leave him there. <laughs> okay. Is that gonna work? Hi, Harry. I'm 
Colin Creevy. I'm in Gryffindor too. Do they have cell phones in this world? Just his owl. Oh my god. They need a new owl. Like, what the hell? Weasley's got himself a howler. What? Ronald Weasley! How dare you steal that car? Oh my. Your father's now facing an inquiry at work! Oh, and Jimmy, dear, congratulations on making Gryffindor. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, he did steal the car twice now. This time was a little worse, way worse. Let me introduce you to your new defense against the dark arts teacher. Me. Wow, what a way to introduce yourself. Honorary member of the Dark Force Defense League and five times winner. <laughs> The pixies can be devilishly tricky little blighters. Let's see what you make of them. No! All these teachers are like, well, maybe these aren't dangerous, but putting all these kids through crazy stuff. <laughs> they're that strong? <laughs> what, they're like an ant? They can carry their weight like a thousand times over? Pesky pixie pest This guy doesn't seem good at this. Like, at all. Whoa. She does every spell, like, known to man. You've got a new seeker. Who? Okay, so this is gonna be a route rivalry of the decade. Those are Nimbus 2001s. Gift from Draco's father. At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. <laughs> what are you gonna say to that? No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mob blood. What the hell was that? Just call her a slur? Slugs. Oh, dude. He almost did amazing in that moment. And... Say something! Uh, that might be the worst thing I've ever seen. Who's Ron trying to curse anyway? I hate slugs. I... He called me a mudblood. He did not. What's a mudblood? It means dirty blood. Whoa. There's some wizards who think they're better than everyone else because they're what people call pure blood. More to the point, they've yet to think of a spell that our Hermione can't do. Come here. That's true. Oh. Uh, Haggard's nice. I love Haggard. Can you possibly imagine a better way to serve detention and by helping me to answer my fan mail. <laughs> what? Sorry? Talking to the ghost thing. That voice. Voice? You didn't hear it? What are you talking about, Harry? Yeah. Harry! Did you hear it? Hear what? That voice. Voice? What voice? The one that was saying it's gonna kill? That one. It's moving. I think it's going to kill. Kill? Now we have another car trying to do crazy stuff. Volkswagen. We didn't get the joke. School's not the safest place, is it? I don't like that. What's that? The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. Enemies of the air? Beware. It's Vilch's cat. Mrs. Norris. And of course, you're standing right in front of it. Just like with the cake, like, everyone thinks... Enemies of the air, beware. You'll be next, mudbloods. Sounds like a threat. You write that shit? It has been petrified. I know exactly the counter curse that could have spared her. <laughs> the way that Dumbledore looked at him. My cat has been petrified. We will be able to cure her. August. That guy's name is Al Algus, and his name is Albus. Okay. Variety. I like it. You hear this voice. A voice only you can hear. And then Mrs. Norris turns up petrified. It's just strange. Are you blaming him? One, two, three. Ferraverto. <laughs> I like what she said, dude. Ferraverto. It's not Italian. Ferroverto. You said Verto. And also your wand's broken. Yes, Miss Granger. Professor, I was wondering if you could tell us about 
the Chamber of Secrets. Kind of bad timing, I think. Hogwarts was founded over a thousand years ago by Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw. Other oh, last names. Ah, interesting. Salazar Slytherin wished to be more selective about the students admitted to Hogwarts. In other words, pure bloods. Yikes. Slytherin had built a hidden chamber in this castle known as the Chamber of Secrets. Hmm. The chamber is said to be home to something that only the heir of Slytherin can control. I'm assuming worse than a troll. Dude, that kid's the heir. Look at him. Who do we know who thinks all Muggleborns are scum? They're talking about Malfoy. Of course, you heard him. Yeah. Crab and Goyle must know. Maybe we could trick them into telling. It'll be dangerous. Okay. Like everything else that we've been doing so far. What's one more? Properly brewed, the Prodigy's potion allows the drinker to transform himself temporarily into the physical form of another. Oh, wow. Uh, maybe Malfoy isn't the heir because he's... That'd be, is it that obvious? What if it's that new teacher? Nice. I love this game. I want to play this somehow. Yeah, but they got the 2001, so you guys probably lose. They lead Gryffindor 90 to 30. 90 to 30? All you need is the snitch. You guys were really helpful in uh, explaining how that all works, so thank you. Let's get it. Where it at? I think maybe that guy's there. <laughs> Malfoy's dad. He's got nitro. Blimey, Harry's got himself a rogue bludger. That's been tampered with, that has. Looks like it. I'll stop it. No. <laughs> I would even think he could do that. Look how fast they're going. So, okay, every match that he's in, people are just gonna mess with the game so that he can't win or die. Like, can a man catch a break? They're playing pinball in there. Oh, you're done, bro. Are you practicing for gymnastics, tumbling around like that? Come on, do some other crazy. He got it. Nice. I love seeing him catch those things. He does it with such like pizzazz. Nice. Someone's trying to kill him, like, obvious. Best wizard of all time comes to save the day. Witch? She's a witch, right? Not a wizard? I don't know. Uh, either way, she's amazing. Oh, I think my arm's broken. Not to worry, Harry. I will fix that arm of yours straight away. No. Not you. D yeah, no. Anyone else. This guy has no idea. Bracky arm. Bracky. Amendo. Bracky arm Amendo? Oh. Ah, the point is, uh, you can no longer feel any pain. What the fuck? Regrowing bones is a nasty business. He removed the bones from his arm? I'm not good with bitter, nasty taste and stuff. Like, I can't. I can't do it. Listen, Volkswagen, we've had enough of you. It's gotta be him, right? Hello. <laughs> okay. Maybe he's the heir. Dobby thought his bludger would be enough to make Harry Potter see that. Dude, you could have killed him. You better clear off before my bones come back, Dobby, or I might strangle you. <gasps> Maybe Dobby should talk to Dumbledore so he can see the future. Terrible things are about to happen at Hogwarts now that history is to repeat. I shouldn't have said that. He's like Hagrid. <laughs> Dobby only wants Harry Potter to be safe. No, Dobby. Tell me, who is it? If you want him to be safe, you should probably help with information because that could lead to him being safe. You know what I mean? Seems like common sense, but I'm not an elf, so who knows? Do you know, I think he's been petrified, Madam Pomfrey. The Chamber of Secrets has indeed been opened. I mean, that kind of seemed obvious from the first situation. Lucius Malfoy must have opened it when he was at school here. And now he's told Draco how to do it. Hmm. In light of the dark... Look at his outfit. 
Professor Dumbledore has granted me permission to start this little dueling club to defend yourselves, as I myself have done on countless occasions. For full details, see my published works. I'm not buying your book, bro. Pixie's Drake. You'll still have your potions, Master, when I'm through with it. Never fear. Yeah, he's gonna mop the floor with you, bro. Anyone that is that pompous is clearly not good. Expelliarmus! Case in point. Good luck, Potter. Thank you, sir. Malfoy's too, like, evil. I think he's got this. Harry hasn't used a spell, like, ever, so... Scared, Potter. You wish. He's not scared. So there's that. I've seen Malfoy use a bunch of spells already, I think. On the count of three, cast your charms to disarm your opponent. Only to disarm. Two. Inverse statue! He cheated! <laughs> Little rascal. <laughs> oh, they're going at it. Like, that was personal. I said disarm only. Seven Sophia. Yeah, they don't care. There should be like a blocker on certain things you can and can't use. That's right, he could speak to snakes from the last movie we saw in the zoo. But now he's making everyone like weirded out, so... What's he saying? There's no subtitles in them. Did Harry go like into like some trance or something? Like he didn't know what was happening. Salazar Slytherin was a parcel mouth. He could talk to snakes too. Now the whole school's gonna think you're his great 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 grandson or something. The air. No way. He can't be. No, seriously though. We know you could be. Oh, what? That doesn't make sense. It's gotta be like a teacher or one of these evil kids. Oh wow, everyone like is weirded out by him. Oh, that brings back bad memories of being like the outcast in school. I also notice it happens more when he's like alone in these halls. But he can hear it. Maybe it's a snake. Because he's the only one that can hear it. It does sound like it's moving, not walking. Hmm. I think I might be onto something here. Oh my. What are the odds of this? I'll have you out this time, Potter. Mark my words. He has the worst luck in the world. Oh, professor. Yeah. They... I swear I didn't. How do you explain? Professor Dumbledore will be waiting for you. Hmm. He'll understand that he just happens to have the worst luck in the history of wizard kind. Sherbert Lemon. Sherbert Lemon. Just in case someone was going to guess Lemon Sherbert, it really put a spin on it. I was, I was just wondering if you put me in the right house. You would have done well in Slytherin. That's another clue to him me, maybe being the heir. I don't know. The old looking bird. Can anything good happen while Harry's around or is it all like... Harry? <laughs> Sorry, your bird exploded while I was here. The bird, there was nothing I could do. He... What is happening? Oh, and about time too. Uh oh. He's been looking dreadful for days. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. I was like, dude. They burst into flame when it is time for them to die. Oh. And then they are reborn from the ashes. I want one. Fascinating creatures, Felixes. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Is there something you wish to tell me? Yes. Yes, there is. Many things. Do it. No, sir. Nothing. That, now, that's a choice I don't understand. And he know. look, he, he's like, nah, 
He's telling he's not telling me something. He should have asked him again and been like, look, I know what I know there's something. Just tell me. I don't understand. What is Harry afraid of? Wow. I love snow so much. I miss it. I filled these with a simple sleeping draft. Now, once they're asleep, hide them in the broomstick cupboard and pull out a few of their hairs. Man, she's responsible for like doing things to other students. This isn't the first time. Turn that kid to stone. <laughs> cool. Wow. You guys should have cheers first. <laughs> we'll have exactly one hour before we change back into ourselves. I could never. I don't know what's in that, but I could never. Sorry. Chunky anything is a huge no. Ugh. Essence of crab. Cheers. Oh, I just, I could like imagine that. Is that supposed to happen? Yeah, okay, probably. Whoa. It really worked. Holy. Harry? Oh, they have their same voice? Ron. Bloody hell. <laughs> I don't think I'm going. You go on without me. Hermione, are you okay? Just go. You're wasting time. Hers didn't work? Maybe? Weird. She was planning that for like a month. What's your names again? Uh, I'm... Crab, Coyle. Where have you two been? Picking out in the Great Hall all this time. I think it's like a hall monitor. I suppose Dumbledore is trying to hush it all up. Father always said that Dumbledore was the worst thing that ever happened to this place. You're wrong! You guys are blowing it. Big time. You think there's someone here who's worse than Dumbledore? Harry Potter? Good answer. Good one, Coyle. Yeah, nice save. And people actually think that he's the heir of Slytherin? I don't. I mean, kind of. Well, you must have some idea who's behind it all. Well, you know I don't segue. Call I told you yesterday. Their common room is amazing. I love it. The last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood died. As for me, I hope it's Granger. Imagine being 12 years old and wishing death on another kid. Like, what? Uh, right. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hey, where are you going? Miley, come out. We've got loads to tell you. Go away. What's wrong with her? Oh, she has some bad, like, adverse effect to it. She's allergic. It was cat hair I plucked off Millicent Bulstrobe's robes. <gasps> huh? Look at your tail. <laughs> <laughs> Ron loves it. That was creepy. What's this? Okay, that water means something because it's been around everywhere when all the bad stuff happens. Here I am, minding my own business, and someone thinks it's funny to throw a book at me. It'll just go right through you. Huh, true. Sure. 50 points and it goes through her head! Okay, I get it. Yeah. Maybe she knows what's going on. She's like old or whatever. This is the same music that was playing in the library last movie. That's when he figured something out, kind of. Um, Marvolo Riddle. Whoa. Vanishing Ink or Vanishing Diary page? Whoa. Okay, that is creepy, but it's so cool at the same time. Do you know anything about the chamber? Has to be, yeah. Are you the heir of Slytherin? Can you tell me. It also has really good handwriting. This book or whoever. This is insane. Uh, he teleported back in time? These don't get stuck here? Or worse, expelled. Excuse me, 
could you tell me what's going on here? Are you Tom Little? Okay, so you're just seeing things. You're not actually there. It is not wise to be wandering around this late hour, Tom. I had to see for myself if the rumors were true. I'm afraid they are, Tom. Is there something you wish to tell me? This is like Harry knowing something, not telling him, and him knowing that he's not telling him. Hiragog never killed no one, never. System Imperium. Wait, so Hagrid is the reason? Wait, what? Arania Exumate. Hiragog. 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 I'll have your one for this, Hagrid. You'll be expelled. Are you the police? That's <laughs> so dramatic. That was a really cool scene, though, but, like, I don't understand why... So Hagrid is there? No. Stop that right there. No. Um... Well, that spider's probably still alive. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. We don't even know this Tom Riddle. The monster had killed somebody, Ron. What would any of us have done? Hello, Hagrid. Tell us, have you been setting anything mad and hairy loose in the castle lately? Mad and hairy? You wouldn't be talking about me now, would you? <laughs> There's no way he's... No. He's too nice. They were talking about you. Harry, I don't know who did it, but you better come. Come on. What? Oh my god, at least his owl's okay. But they don't have security at this place. Tom Riddle's diary is gone. You and I will find Mr. Weasley. There's something that both of you have to see. I warn you, this could be a wee bit of a shock. What? What is happening? Who is doing this? It's Malfoy. Like, it's too obvious, but it's gotta be. He hates her. But he did say to his friends, I hope it... Uh, oh, I don't know. I'm, s I'm lost. Unless the culprit behind these attacks is caught. It is likely the school will be closed. No. We have to figure this out. Let's all band together right now. And figure it out somehow. Brainstorm. I think it's time to get my dad's old cloak out again. Is it his dad's old cloak? Is that what the letter said? What's that for? Oh, nothing. I, I was expecting. Uh... What's he expecting? D did you hear about Hermione? Oh, yeah. I heard about that, all right. Look. Weird he didn't say anything about it. Do you know who's opened the Chamber of Secrets? What do you have to understand about that? Is... <laughs> we were about to know. Like, 100%, we were about to know everything. Professor Dumbledore, sir. Good evening, Hagrid. I wonder... Could we... Well, maybe we'll know anyways. That's Dad's boss. Cornelius Fudge. Minister of Magic. Fudge? Albus, look, Hagrid's record is against him. I've got to take him. Take me where? Not Azkaban prison. I'm afraid we have no choice. Prison? They haven't even proven anything. Already here, Fudge. Lord. It's this guy. I simply called at the school and was told the headmaster was here. The other governors and I have decided it's time for you to step aside. This is an order of suspension. Um, and what does that mean? Take him away and the Muggleborns won't stand a chance. If the governors desire my removal, I will, of course, step aside. You will find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. <laughs> He's talking to him. Oh, he can see him or something? He 100% knows they're there. Look, yeah. What? He has like a sixth sense for everything. If anybody was looking for some stuff, then all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. Oh, the spider's going out the window. Because he had a spider. Dumbledore gone. He'll be an attack a day. Look. Somehow the spider... Those must be the babies of the spider that Hagrid had 50 years ago. 
Taggart a student back then or no? Because that was 50 years. He's not that old, is he? Come on. What? What does it mean? What Hagrid said. Follow the spiders. They're heading into the dark forest. Spiders. Why couldn't it be follow the butterfly? <laughs> that would be too easy. You know, like, we're, this is Hogwarts. Everything's got to be near death, right? Even the trees are killer trees. I mean, oh, no big deal. This is just where Volkswagen was at yet last uh, movie. Don't step on those. Maybe they'll kill you if you do. Hagrid, is that you? We're friends of Hagrid's. No, no, no. You're Aragog, aren't you? Yes. Hagrid has never sent men into a hollow before. I think he opened the Chamber of Secrets. That's a lie. Hagrid never opened the Chamber of Secrets. Oh, this is good, this is good. Not the monster. No. The monster was born in the castle. It is an ancient creature we spiders fear. Oh my god. Can we leave this spot and go have a converse conversation somewhere else, please? We'll just go. Yeah. Great idea. I yep. Think not. I cannot deny them fresh meat when it wanders so willingly into our midst. We're an extension of Hagrid. Like, we're friends. We're. Yeah. Yeah, Fang, bark louder. Be more intimidating. Where's Hermione when you need her? Gotta do something. Who's driving that? Oh, is it in self drive mode? Oh, what? I thought that car hated them. Kicked them out before. He gave that spider eczema. What the hell? This is how self-driving was invented. Glad we're out of there. <laughs> Hurry, do something. Arania, eczema. Give it eczema again. Nice. Jesus. Fang didn't do anything. Like soldiers. Get us out of here. Fly it. Can it fly? That's crazy that he's driving at 12 years old, but good on him. Maybe the 13 now? I don't know. I can't remember. The flying is jammed. Never good luck, always bad luck. There we go. All right, so what we learned is, it wasn't Hagrid. The thing killing everybody is a crazy old beast of some sort, creature. And that's about it. And they don't talk about Follow it. Follow the spiders. Follow the spiders. <laughs> if Hagrid ever gets out of Azkaban, I'll kill him. I mean, dude, you learned something. It wasn't like complete waste of time. He did basically almost die, but the car was like, that was my last mission, guys. I'm out. What have you found out? We know one thing. Hagrid never opened the Chamber of Secrets. Right. He was innocent. But that doesn't give you any clues on who. So. They give him an IV when they're in that state. Or they stay alive. I wish you were here, Hermione. We need you. Yeah. Now more than ever. This is why Hermione was in the library the day she was attacked. A nun is more deadly than the basilisk. Basilisk, that's a snake. The monster in the Chamber of Secrets is a basilisk. That's why you can hear that's it. That's why I can hear it speak. Yeah. But if it kills by looking people in the eye, why is it no one's dead? I knew it. Because no one did look it in the eye. Colin saw it through his camera. Oh. And Hermione had the mirror 
I bet you anything she was using it to look around corners. He figured it out in like two seconds. The hell's the basilisk been getting around? A dirty great snake, someone would have seen it. Hermione's answered that too. That's why we could hear it like right there. She died in a bathroom. What if she never left? Holy Myrtle. Oh, I knew she could probably knew, know something. Wow, we got all the answers in like one minute. It was like no clues at all, everything all at once. Our worst fear has been realized. A student has been taken by the monster into the chamber itself. The students must be sent home. Oh, wow. And there's no Dumbledore. So sorry, dozed off. What have I missed? Everything. The girl has been snatched by the monster lockout. Your moment has come at last. My moment? Weren't you saying just last night that you've known all along where the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets is? <laughs> we'll leave you to deal with the monster, Gilderoy. There you go. Your skills, after all, are legend. Time to shine, buddy. Uh, I'll just be in my office getting, um, getting ready. You need to get ready, do you? Okay. Who is it that the monster's taken, Minerva? Ginny Weasley. Uh, this is... No bueno. A skeleton will lie in the oh. River. Who's writing that, though? Not the snake. Maybe that's what Malfoy's doing. This guy ain't going in there. some information for you. Are you going somewhere? I knew it. Well, yes. Um, urgent call. Unavoidable. You're the defense against the dark arts teacher. You can't go now. After all that stuff you did in your books? My books wouldn't have sold half as well if people didn't think I'd done all those things. You're a fraud. Yeah. Is there anything you can do? Why? I'm rather gifted with memory charms. Otherwise, you see, all those wizards would have gone blabbing. I'm uh, going to have to do the same to you. You don't want Ron's wand doing and nothing to you. Like, be careful. It's like Russian roulette with spells. You have no idea what's gonna happen. Oh, hello, Harry. I think she likes Harry. Pretty obviously. To ask you how you died. It happened right here. I didn't because Olive Cornby was teasing me about my glasses. But they said something funny. A kind of made up language. So I unlocked the door to tell him to go away. And I died. She saw the thing. She saw the snake. This is it. This is it, Ron. Whoa. This is the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. And he said he knew where it was. He doesn't know anything like that. Or whatever that was. How did that? Uh, can we go get Dumbledore now? This is crazy. Why didn't Moaning Myrtle say anything? Harry, ha, good work. Well then, I'll just be. Um, there's no need for me to stay. Dude, you're such a coward. <laughs> You first. Now, boys, what good will it do? Better you than us. <laughs> Obviously, yes. Just jump on in. 30 feet. First. No! No! What if it was just concrete and you killed them? It's like a water park. Oh, yeah, they're in the pipes, right? Yeah, makes sense. A lot of bones. What's this? Skin. It looks like a snake. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> the adventure ends here, boys. The world will know our story. That's Ron's wand, so good luck. You first, Mr. Potter. Say goodbye to your memories. Get your wand out. Oblivion! <laughs> I knew it. That one is. That one is great, actually. Everything happens for a reason. Even that wand breaking. 
Did that land on the professor? Uh, no. Another split. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> Ron Weasley. No yeah. way. And, uh, who, who am I? Lockhart's memory charm backfired! <laughs> oh, man. Odd sort of place, isn't it? <laughs> Do you live here? No. Really? What? I won't say a word about what you just did to that teacher. Trust. Is that a door? This is so sketchy. Convenient little ladder. Okay. What is that? A Poseidon head? Oh no, this is a trap, dude. Oh, Jenny, please don't be dead. Wake up. She won't wake. It's the dude from the memory. Uh oh. Tom. He's real. Are you a ghost? A memory. How are you walking around? You've got to help me, Tom. There's a basilisk. It won't come until it's called. It was Ginny Weasley who opened the Chamber of Secrets. No, she couldn't. What? the basilisk on the mudbloods and filch's cat Ginny, who wrote the threatening messages on the walls oh still the power of the diary began to scare her and she tried to dispose of it in the girl's bathroom oh wow i knew i had to talk to you so i decided to show you my capture of that brainless oaf hagrid so this guy's there i would be able to lead another to finish salazar slytherin's noble work how is it that a baby with no extraordinary magical talent was able to defeat the greatest wizard of all time? Love. It was love. Voldemort was after your time. Voldemort is my past. That's really cool how he's writing that like that, but what? Your Volkswagen? You're the heir of Slytherin. And that? What? Surely you didn't think I was going to keep my filthy muggle father's name. Dude, you kind of downgraded your name. Riddle was a dope name. And also, you did not have a glow up. You had a glow down. So this is what Dumbledore sends his great defender. A songbird and an old hat. Yeah, that doesn't look very promising. Thanks, but no thanks. Maybe put the hat on and he gives you powers or something. Match the power of Lord Voldemort, heir of Salazar Slytherin against the famous Harry Potter. I bet on Harry. Somehow, some way, gonna get it done. Oh, fuck. No, bring the hat with you, dude. That was important somehow. Oh my god, that thing is huge and fast. Let's go. Thank you, Firebird. We love you. Um Your bird may have blinded the basilisk, but it can still hear you. Not if we don't make any sound. Why are the pipes there so big? It's like a sewer system, I guess. And... No way, that worked. Quick thinking, alright. Okay, plan is get to the hat, put it on, turn into a... Crazy powerful wizard, learn a bunch of spells somehow, and end scene. The process is nearly complete. In a few minutes, Ginny Weasley will be dead. Dude, just fight this guy. Lord Voldemort will return. Okay. The hat did something. I mean, a wand might have been... Well, no, he doesn't really know any spells, I guess, so... 
All right. Good thing it can't see. It's gonna kill itself doing that. Knock itself out. Okay. Jump and stab. Jump and stab. Stop swiping, dude. Oh my god. No. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Fuck. Is that gonna kill you? Dude, Harry is a legend. He fights off Voldemort first movie. Volkswagen. He kills this huge snake thing. Crazy. He came from a cupboard under the stairs. Wow. Remarkable, isn't it? How quickly the venom of the basilisk penetrates the body. Oh, no. You'll be with your dear mudblood mother soon, Harry. Yeah, how loosely they're using that term. Sounds very bad. What are you doing? Stop! No! Okay. He's, he's, yeah, he exists in the book. Okay. They come up with really insane ways to kill the bad guys in these movies. Last movie was putting his hands on a face. Now it's stabbing a book with a fang. Nice. Volkswagen no more. She not gonna die now? Or both of them not gonna die now? Oh, I got poison, I think, right? Or no, she didn't get poison. He did. It was me. Riddle made me. Follow the chamber and you'll find Ron. Thank you, bird, for bringing a hat. You were brilliant, folks. I just wasn't quick enough. Oh, that's right. Dumbledore said it had healing powers in its tears. Wow. Phoenix tears have healing powers. They thought of everything. It's just a memory. <laughs> wow. Amazing! This is just like magic! <laughs> Wait. How is it that strong to carry all of them like that? Magic. I mean, why do I ask these questions? I have no idea. You both realize, of course, that in the past few hours, you have broken perhaps a dozen school rules. To hell with rules. And the Leinster have you both expelled. Or worse. It is only fitting that you both receive... Billion points. ...special awards for <laughs> services to the school. Dude, these guys are VIP. I want to thank you, Harry. Okay, to start. You can speak parcel tongue, Harry. Why? Because Lord Voldemort can speak parcel tongue. Whoa. Transferred some of his powers to me. Well, that was intentionally. That could be a good thing, right? I mean, maybe. In this case, it was. If you want proof why you belong in Gryffindor, then I suggest you look more closely at this. Be careful. You grab it by the handle instead? <laughs> but weird. Gryffindor. Godric Gryffindor. Uh, oh. Take a true Gryffindor to pull that out of the hat. That's the leader of Gryffindor, right? Creator? Dobby, so this is your master. The family you serve as the Malfoys. No. I don't wonder he hates himself. I should walk around with a cane that you don't need. My sole concern has always been and will always be the welfare of this school. <laughs> and of course, it's student. Right. Uh-huh. Totally believe you. Completely. The culprit has been identified. Oh, yes. And? Volkswagen. Who was it? Voldemort. One hopes that no more of Lord Voldemort's old school things should find their way into innocent hands. Let us hope that Mr. Potter will always be around to save the day. I will be. <laughs> yeah. Why was Dumbledore talking to him about the 
the consequences of the stuff coming in or whatever. Mr. Malfoy, I have something of yours. It is. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you slipped the diary into Ginny Weasley's cauldron that day at Diagon Alley. Oh, I remember that scene. I said, uh, who, why was he putting stuff in someone's thing? Oh, wow. To you. Prove it. They actually showed it, too. Like, they were just given a little clue, but there was no way to really know. Open it. Master has given Dobby a shock. What? I didn't... Dobby is free. <laughs> he put it in there. No way. <laughs> what are you gonna do, kill a kid? You shall not harm Harry Potter! <laughs> okay, he re the elf redeemed himself. <laughs> That's a reunion. He was out for the count for a while. Awkward. Why don't they... Well, congratulations, I can't believe you solved it. Well, we had loads of help from you. We couldn't have done it without you. So wholesome once again. Let us have a round of applause for Professor Sprout, Madam Pomfrey. That deserves a round of applause. Uh, dude, I hate Malfoy. As a school treat, all exams have been cancelled. <laughs> wow, now that's a treat. <laughs> Everybody's upset. Come on, even you have to be a little happy about that. Sorry I'm late. Nice. The owl that delivered my release papers got all lost and confused. Some ruddy bird called Errol. That was <laughs> his bird. That's funny. If it hadn't been for you, Harry, and Ron, Hermione, of course, I'd still be you nowhere. So I, I'd just like to say thanks. Oh, I love Hagrid. No Hogwarts without you, Hagrid. <laughs> Stop making me tear up, movie. I swear. Yeah, he's like an uncle, like a good, awesome uncle. Dude, I don't understand. How could you not clap for this? Dude, this music, what the hell? <laughs> wow. Another one in the books, another good one. And that castle is so beautiful. Wow. Did someone say, I think someone said there was like something after. Someone in the comments mentioned that there's a after, a cut scene or something after. So I just confirmed that that is true. So I will watch it really quick. Thanks whoever, I don't remember your name. I apologize, but thank you for mentioning that or else I never would have known. 2002. No <laughs> way. <laughs> They really put that in there. That's crazy. Wow. Guys. Another good movie. Another one that made me tear up. Uh, you know, okay. I'll be honest. It was good. It was really good. But I still think I liked the first one a little bit better. Um, I don't know why. Maybe this one was... It was like the story was... It gave me no clues, no hints at all. I mean, I guess you could say the book being placed in the thing at the beginning, the cauldron or whatever, you could say that was a clue, but there would be no way for me to know that that meant anything, right? It could have just been any random scene. So it was kind of like, I was just like guessing 
randomly Malfoy, Malfoy's dad, Harry for no reason at all, Hagrid, which didn't none of those really made any sense. I mean, the Malfoy one made a little sense to me, but this one was still good. Don't get me wrong. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but if I had to put them in order so far, first one, then this one. Some of you did mention this was your, your least favorite one, so I'm not letting that influence my decision on this. I just preferred the first one a little bit more. I think because the first one had more like different themes throughout, like Christmas theme, Halloween theme. Um, I hated the spiders. I hated the the slugs that Ron was throwing up. There were some scenes that were just like, oh, a little, little bit hard to watch, you know? But yeah, I didn't expect... Um, I didn't expect Ginny, Ginny, Ginny. I didn't expect Ginny to be the one to have opened it, like at all. That was so random. I didn't even remember she was at school, to be honest with you. Um, but the the cool part about uh, Volkswagen was his little writing his name and it turned around and said, "I am Lord Voldemort." That was really cool. I liked that scene. And another and another thing I liked about the the bad people, I guess you could call them. No offense to anyone here that, you know, sides with Slytherin or that's their house or whatever. The Slytherin common room was sick. Like, the, I liked their common room. Like, if I was if I was to pick a house just based on their common room, I haven't seen the other two. But the Slytherin one is awesome. It's amazing. It's way bigger than the Gryffindor one. And it just, it looks like, I don't know, it has a vibe to it. It has like a cool aesthetic, you know what I mean? But yeah, I mean, you know, more bravery from Harry and... You know, Harry's the bravest kid in the world at this point, probably. He doesn't stand out to anything, and he doesn't even know any spells. I don't think I saw him use a single spell, did he? No, he did use one against uh, Malfoy in the little duel thing, which that was interesting that they put kids, like, together to fight. Like, that's wild. Um, oh, okay, so Harry knows how to speak. They said parcel tongue. And that's what Voldemort could do. And Voldemort transferred his power to him. So I wonder what other powers Voldemort transferred to Harry. Could be anything. I wonder if that means Harry is like more inclined to be evil. But not really. Because he's, he's, everything he's done so far has been for the greater good, obviously. So I don't think so. I'm just, there's got to be more, there's got to be more to that in terms of what Voldemort passed down, I would imagine. So that'll be interesting to see in the other movies. Uh, I'm curious to see that. Other than that, guys, uh, I liked it. I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the reaction as much as I enjoyed the movie, please like the video. It helps the algorithm show this to more people, so I'd appreciate it if you did that. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any other reactions from me, including the next Harry Potter and all the other ones after. I will be doing Harry Potter bi-weekly still. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are really excited about me doing this series, and I appreciate that. But also, I want to make sure that I keep my content varied you know, week to week, and and half of my audience found me before I did Harry Potter. I want to make sure everyone's happy in terms of what I'm putting out. So I will be doing the third movie in two weeks, unless you're sub to my Patreon, where I will put these out weekly. And if you guys are interested in Game of Thrones by any chance, I'm doing Game of Thrones on my channel as well. I believe I'm on episode eight coming up. If you want to see those, they're on my channel. If you want to see full length versions, they're on my Patreon, as well as getting them one to two weeks early in advance. Guys, drop a comment. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what I could do better, what you think I did really well. Let me know some fun facts about the movie. You guys are really good at doing that, and I appreciate that. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up in a similar way. I wrap my other reactions up and talk just for a second about mental health. And so this is more personal to me. Um, you know, in my last reaction, which was Django, uh, I did mention that, you know, try to find things that, you know, will bring your spirits up when you're feeling down, depressed, anxious, whatever it is you know, and try new things. And what I'm noticing from having been doing these reactions and putting myself out there, you know, having pushed through the nerves and the anxiety and just the the general sense of like, I can't do it to be able to do this and, and doing this, I've felt a lot better. Like my, my depression, my anxiety, it's subsiding in a way. And that's not me like gloating and oh my God, you know, yay me. But it's more to say that I believe that doing things that you want to do, but you're maybe too afraid to do, or or just something you've been putting off, you know, don't let don't let that happen. You know, it's it's time to try new things. That's something I, I read. I'm gonna reiterate again. It's time to try new things. You know, um, I encourage you all to do something that you might have put off for various reasons, and just see see how it feels. You know, see how it feels to put yourself out there, uh, no matter what it is, and you know, show yourself that 
you know, you can do anything because you can. And yeah, I just encourage you guys to, to trust yourself, follow what you want, follow what you believe. As long as you're not hurting anybody or yourself, I fully support whatever you guys want to do. And um, don't be too hard on yourself, you know, give yourself a little wiggle room, be, be more patient with yourself. And um, in time, you'll be happy that you trusted yourself in the process of, of getting to where you want to be, you know? So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. All my viewers, all my supporters, everybody, I, I thank you so much. You guys are incredible. You've made my week. You've made my month. You've made my year. What can I say? I can't thank you guys enough. Seriously. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And I hope to see you guys on my next reaction. Take care.